Real Steel. Ha! Hoo! Ha! I know this isn't exactly what I usually do as far as movies go, but I just had to review this because it was just awesome. So I went and saw it and it was great. But before I get on to that, let's talk about the basic plot. Okay, so there is Hugh Jackman, he's the main character, and he's a bit of a jerk. And he's got a kid, it turns out. So in or so he turns out he pays that pays off the kid's uncle in law, I guess. And uh to give and he gives, and the uncle-in-law gives him, like, $50,000 to, uh, let him have the kid for about a summer while he and, while this uncle and aunt go off to Italy for a while. And so, of course, uh, you know, Hugh Jackman's all like, you know, whatever, and the kid's all like, okay, whatever. But meanwhile, Hugh Jackman has a little bit of a deal with money, see, he's a, he, tra he trains and fights robots, or has robots fight other robots. And that's where this whole thing comes from. See, in the future, they're going to have not boxers anymore, but we're going to watch robots fight it out in the rings. How awesome is that? So Hugh Jackman, a former boxer, now is fighting robots. And it turns out he's a little bit low on cash because he seems to just kind of ram his robots so hard that they just get, you know, smashed. And it turns out he also owes money to this angry Texan. And movies have taught us one thing. It's do not owe money to angry Texans. So that's the basic setup of the story, and that's when this kid gets thrown into the mix. And over the course of this time when he's when they're together, they kind of get to bond each other, and by golly, become friends. Yeah, this movie's got a little bit of father-son drama in there, so if you've been traumatized by a beating father or a deadbeat dad, don't watch this movie, because you will cry. And as you saw in the trailer, they find this old sparring bot, train it to fight the other bigger bots, and by gosh, they almost win the whole entire World Boxing Championship, or whatever the heck it's called. So it's a real cool premise for a story, and it's really neat. It's set in this weird future where everything's kind of real, kind of futuristic, you're not sure, but it's not like insanely futuristic like 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's still down to earth and real, you know, real. But, uh, so, but other than that, but other than the realistic part, the robots are really cool and they look real neat and they're shiny. And yes, you gotta expect that there's gonna be a little bit of, um, endearing family sort of fun in this too, you know? It's, it's okay. But a little bit of endearment's not gonna kill you every once in a while. I mean, come on. You heartless family hater. But seriously, it does take on the appearance of a, of a Disney family movie every once in a while in the movie, but it does not get in the way because it is awesome. Now, if you're wondering, like me, uh, if this story looked a little familiar when you first saw it in the trailers, well, that's because it is, and if you ever watched The Twilight Zone. And it turns out that there is a story, there, there's a bunch of short stories wrote, written by Richard Matheson, who's also written uh, other short stories about this sort of thing and the future kind of deal. And it turns out that this was also the ba this short story was also the basis of a Twilight Zone episode that was really cool, and I saw it before the real Seal movie ever you know came into the screen. So when I saw this trailer, I was like, that looks a little familiar. Hey, I wonder if it well, yeah. But believe it or not, even though it's based on a short story, this is a long movie. It's like two hours long, and it's it's long, and it, you get your money's worth on this thing. And believe it or not, that in that this movie was the highest grossing movie in its first weekend at the box office, and in fact, it's the highest grossing boxing film ever um, in, the first, in the first weekend, aside from other, only second to Rocky IV. Which, ironically, both have robots in them. Huh. But yes, I definitely rate this movie as two thumbs up. It is is awesome. You should definitely go see it. It's it's a winner. I really think it is. It's fun. It's not like the best movie I've ever seen, but it's really cool. And I think you're going to be in it. You're at least going to be in it for a good time, and it's going to be fun. And it's really cool. So, in simple terms, go watch this movie because you just should. And I say so. So there. So the question for the comments to today would be: What's your favorite fighting slash boxing movie? Um, this isn't my favorite. I've got to say, for me, it would be um, somewhere around maybe The Warrior. That was a real cool movie that just came out earlier this year. I really like that one. 
Um, so it it probably be about there. I don't know. I haven't seen very many actually to tell you the truth. So I wouldn't. I can't say for sure. But uh, that would be, definitely be one of them, I guess. But uh, comment below and tell me what you think. So that's about it. And until next time, I'm Creature Hunt Guy, and I'll see you later.